Well, since the 1980s, the U.S. government has encouraged farmers to buy crop insurance by offering subsidies to offset cost of premiums. However, these subsidies may have an unintended consequence, leading to fewer farms. Well, professor of Ag Economics at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, Query Walter Walters, has studied the trend, and he joins us now for an update on that research. And, Corey, thank you very much for your time here this morning. Could you begin by telling us just a little bit about the crop insurance subsidies and their impact that you've seen? Yeah, the, the current taxpayer uh, uh, subsidized program began in the 1980 with the Federal Crop Insurance Act, and then uh, it was followed up with another one in 1994, and then uh, the big one in uh, 2000, the ARPA Act, the Agricultural Risk Protection Act. Uh, these, these acts were essentially aimed at increasing producer participation uh, uh, through, of course, a subsidy and uh, enhanced coverage options. And uh, they, they very much worked. Uh, right now, uh, corn and soybeans, we have uh, over 90% uh, of all acres insured. So what does that, how does that lead to fewer and larger U.S. farms? Yeah, so the, the mechanism is uh, uh, a bit a bit intriguing. Uh, what happens is crop insurance, you, you take off, uh, when you purchase a policy, you take off the, the tail of a, of a distribution of, of you know, bad outcomes. That changes the expected income then for a farmer, and then, and then that can incentivize them to produce more. Uh, for the uninsured farm then, uh, they, uh, uh, they don't get this benefit, and it, it can help drive them out of the market. Um, and on top of that, then the, the insured farms, uh, they can use these returns, especially after a, a bad event, let's say a, a, you know, a drought or something, uh, then to, to uh, uh, purchase these, these farms that aren't as in good of a financial position. Um, across, uh, across, you know, in, the, in the analysis, we saw roughly you know, 20 to 40% uh, uh, you know, reduction in farms due to, due to subsidies. Corey, how can farm consolidation as a result of these crop insurance subsidies be avoided in the future then? Yeah, so we need to look more closely at these, these unintended effects. Um, but, but clearly, you know, being, being aware is the, the first thing we want to do um, because we, we want to create, you know, an, a policy that will uh, uh, be much more robust in the future when rethinking the, the current policy design. Uh, and there's some ways to do that uh, that doesn't, uh, you know, take away the, the, the premium subsidies. Uh, we can maintain those, I think, and uh, uh, make some subtle changes to uh, take away these sort of effects. Uh, Corey, here in our last half hour, we reported that the, agri or that the con Congress is getting ready to start work on the new farm bill. Do you expect your research or will you share your research with legislators as they go through the process? I would love to. Oh, good deal. Thank you very much, Corey, for taking the time to join us. We appreciate your insight today. University of Nebraska Lincoln Associate Professor of Ag Economics, Corey Walters, connecting with us today. Of course, you can go online to agecon.unl.edu for more information.